Today, we're discussing costs. What are the costs to account for? How to account for those costs? It's Makram Hani, Analyzing Property. A no-hype, mission-focused scientific approach to get you to understand property better. Let's go on with it. Today, you buy a property. You have costs attached to it. And those costs are very important to be estimated the right way. If you don't, you would probably end up taking money from your pocket every month because you're cash flowing negative. Or you would end up of being obliged, of course, to sell the property eventually because it's not making so much sense. Let's go ahead with what are the costs to be allocated to. You now, there are some of the costs that I will show you today that are not guaranteed to be your cost as a landlord, as an owner of a property. For example, electricity, water, sewer, um, gas. Yet, there are other costs that you pay every year currently because you're obliged, you're similar to property taxes or to HOA fees. HOA fees are the homeowners association fees, which are called service charges, maintenance charges, levy fees, and we'll talk about the components of that and why do you pay it. The interest on the loan, remember, if you have a mortgage on your property, the mortgage is two sides. It's a equity payout and it's an interest cost. The interest is the cost of the mortgage. The rest is not cost. It's just you paying and getting more ownership or more equity in that property because you own it outright in general day one hour one while the bank owns own not the property. So there's other payments or other costs that you don't assume or account for because you don't do, similar to insurance of a property. Now some of you would tell me that my property is insured because the bank forced me to do an insurance when I took a mortgage. I would tell you most of the time, 99% of the time, that insurance is non-comprehensive. So for you to get a proper insurance, you need a comprehensive insurance that would cover you through against risks of owning that property so that it doesn't become a liability. It stays an asset. At the same time, vacancy periods. Now, I'm sure that most of us who own property do not account for vacancy. And then they're under stress and pressure. The property is vacant. Property vacant is part of owning a property. If you assume for vacancy periods annually, you'll end up being in a good position. And even when a property gets vacant, although it's preferred that it doesn't, you would not have that as a disaster. So let's start on with it. Insurance. You have a property and you have a leak and that leak affected your flooring, affected your cabinets and affected your neighbor's furniture. Would you like to pay for all? Would you prefer that the insurance company takes care of all? I heard you. Go ahead with insuring your property. Don't leave your property without insurance because you'll be exposed. That, that asset may become a liability. That's item number. Item number two, service charges. What are service charges? Now you pay service charges because of the following. There is common areas in your buildings to service. There is building insurance, operations, external of the building to service. And there's also community charges in some areas and some places. So service charges are a few components. First, it's the community charges, which are the community operating the community, but not your building. So everything in the community, but not any individual building. And then there is the building charges, which are the common areas, operations and sinking fund, and all the charges that relate to operating your building successfully. Those are your building service charges. If you take both those components and put them together, you'll end up with the homeowner association charges or fees that you pay annually. Some places it's condo fees, some places condo fees re re reflects other kinds of services like concierge and the likes, but those are the home fees that you need to account for annually. And remember, those charges are although should not grow so fast but do grow. We 
increase from a year to year similar to insurance, but it's fair to assume a 2% growth in cost. Similarly, the income will grow with time. So it's fair to assume that the income is growing as well. There is one portion of that cost which you don't assume, I'm sure, is property management. Unless you have a property management company taking care of your property. I advise you to assume that even if you are managing your property individually and alone. Why? Costing you time and effort. And you need to be paid for that time and effort. So please assume a property management cost fee every month, every quarter, semi annually, or annually. Last but not least, we have the uh, cost of, uh, or prior to the last. But not least, you have the cost of mortgage, which are the interest costs. Assume, please, unless you have a fixed mortgage fee or interest for the whole period, assume that with time that mortgage cost interest servicing that loan will increase, rise. Then you will be safe, even if the property situation changed from time to time. Thing that you need to assume, and this is last but not least, one of the most important is vacancy period. You buy a property, you own a property, you rent a property, and the average tenant stays between three, seven, ten years, depending on where are you and your market and the type of property. Is it a smaller one, a bigger one, is it a family or not? It stays for a certain amount of time and then it's based on the day, average stay. And based on the average time it takes to refill a property, which varies between a market and another, you need to assume a vacancy period and you need to account for it annually so that when your property gets vacant, you don't get into trouble again. I hope that I didn't bore you with fees. Nobody wants to pay fees. Everyone wants to make an income. Yet, we need to pay fees to be surely getting the income and cap our risks sometimes on what caps out that. Ciao. Again, before telling you goodbye, like and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to this channel. Makes sense. If you have any comments, please feel free to Before I leave you, I would want to tell you like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel so that you'll get more of it. Comment below if there's something you liked, if there's something you didn't. Or if you want to get more or if you have an opinion about the costs related to a property. Ciao.